one pound. Number one is Floyd, ridden by Graham Bradley. Two, ride again, Robert Strong. Three, Buckskin's Best, Richard Dunwoody. Number four, Intuition, Mark Perrett. Five is Saffron Lord, Declan Murphy. Number six, Sunny Hill Lad, Nick Mann. Seven, the Illiwacker, Blinkered again, Mark Pittman. Number eight, Victory Gate, Blinkered for the very first time, Gary Moore. Nine is Yahid, Peter Scudamore. And number ten, the only mayor, Mrs. Muck, and she's the mount of Carl Llewellyn. And here's the betting. Yahib, the 7 to 4 favourite, opened up at 11 to 8. The Illiwaka, 11 to 4, and Floyd, 11 to 2. Right again, steady at 7s. And Mrs. Muck, a 9 to 1 chance, opened at 8 to 1. Intuition, 16 to 1. Sunny Hill Lad and Saffron Law, both on 20s. And Victory Gate and Buckskin's Best are both at 25 to 1. They're all quoted for the Reynolds from Hurdle. It's off indeed, and Floyd gets away first on the near side. Floyd, the early leader, three miles is the trip, and that means 12 flights of hurdles all told to be taken. They're coming to jump the first now with Floyd on the inside, up and over in the lead from Saffron Lord. Right behind those two, Buckskin's best, also prominent Mrs. Muck and Ride again. And then on the inside, Yahib out towards the outside of the field, race Sunny Hill Lad with intuition and widest of all is Victory Gate. So they've all crossed the first two safely and it's now Saffron Lord going on. Saffron Lord twice a past winner here, but over fences. In fact, uh, he's heading the chasing match. It's still Floyd, of course, out in front. Floyd, the definite leader from Saffron Lord, who heads the main body of the field, with Mrs. Muck next in three, four is Buckskin's best and five, Intuition. In sixth place, Victory Gate and seven ride again, then eight, Sunny Hill Lad, and nine and ten are Yahib and the Illiwaka. So the two market leaders are last and last but one at the moment. Quite a long run before they get to the next flight number three and uh, making their way towards it now and Floyd has gone well clear of his field Floyd jumps this one with an advantage of a good 15 lengths ahead of Mrs. Muck just getting ahead in second ahead of Saffron Lord after them Buckskin's best and ride again the rest are all bunched together with Yahib the back marker just last but one is the Illiwak but Floyd taking them along at a cracking gallop as he jumps this one flight number four from Mrs. Muck over second and Saffron Lord took it third after them come ride again and intuition then Buckskin's best is close up towards the outside the Illiwaka and the last two now Sunny Hill Lad and Yahi. They make their way towards the home turn for the first time in this grade two Rentlesham hurdle with Floyd who is now 11 and the oldest of these a long way in front there he is and he's got a lead of a good uh, dozen lengths or so still ahead of Saffron Lord who comes next. Saffron Lord twice a past winner here as I said over fences and he's being followed by Mrs. Muck, the only mayor in the field, and then after her comes intuition up towards the outside, being followed through by Victory Gate. So at the home turn, then, for the first time, with Floyd continuing to make it, from Saffron Lord, Mrs. Muck, Buckskin's best, and then intuition. Right again is getting a bit closer, and they're now in line for flight number five. Floyd up and over safely from Mrs. Mark and Saffron Lord together disputing second and third then ride again with intuition victory gate with those uh, white blinkers you can't quite see them at the moment up on the extreme outside Buckskin's best racing nearest the rails being pursued by the favorite Yahib and then comes Sunny Hill Lad and the Illiwak are still towards the rear of the field we see them head on now as they come up past the enclosures with one circuit to go. They're now at halfway in the Rendlesham hurdle, and it's still Floyd who's made every yard of the running, continuing to make it by a dozen lengths from Mrs. Muck, with intuition now three, Buckskin's best four, five is right again, and six, Saffron Lord dropping back. In seventh place, the Illiwaka, eight is now Yahim, nine and ten of Victory Gate and Sunny Hill Lad. So they make their way through the starting point now and on towards what was the first, and this time around it becomes flight number seven. Floyd and uh, Graham Bradley still the clear leaders as they come to this one. Floyd certainly not stopping at the moment. He's a dozen lengths up still on uh, Mrs. Muck and Buckskin's best now going third. Ride again is trying to close. Yahib is making headway on the inside. Still uh, right up there is... Uh, on the outside intuition and then comes the Illiwaka now making headway victory gate is next and the last two are sunny hill lad and finally saffron lord but the only horse in the picture there floyd just going out of it now as we see mrs muck and buckskin's best chasing the uh, next group leading the next group and uh, they're being followed by 
uh, ride again. This is the SP. It's Yahib, the favorite at 15 to 8. The Iliwak at 3 to 1. Floyd was sent off at 11 to 2 and ride again at 7 to 1. Mrs. Mark at 8 to 1, and it was 20 to 1 bar these five. Floyd, though, still the definite leader with seven furlongs to travel. Floyd, in fact, increasing his lead. He's now a good 15 to 20 lengths, if not more, I'd say, ahead of the rest. He takes this one, the fourth from home, with Mrs. Muck over second. And then Intuition, followed by Yahi, Buckskin's best, and Ride again. Then a little gap to uh, Intuition now dropping away. And then a much bigger gap to Sunny Hill Lad and Victory Gate. And totally tailed off now is Saffron Lord. So Floyd then, still a good leader, but the rest of the field are closing. Floyd then coming back to his field with roughly uh, five and a half furlongs to go, and uh, just the two flights in the home straight to take. An awful long run before the final uh, two flights, and Floyd's been out there in front for an awful long way. He must be getting pretty lonely, and the rest are closing fast. With Mrs. Muck now still in second, and she's now within five lengths of the leader. Floyd then by only four from Mrs. Muck, and then comes the Iliwaka ride again, and Yahib, who's still got it all to do. Maybe uh, Graham Brand is just giving him a breather as he makes his way towards the home turn. Floyd there, and Mrs. Muck in trouble, and Mrs. Muck, I'm afraid, looks terribly injured as the rest of the field come into the final straight, and it's Floyd who is going on again from right again in the Iliwak. Yahib, the favourite, I don't think could possibly catch these first three, and they're now in line for the second-last flight, and it's Floyd coming to it from right again, the only seeming danger in second. The Iliwaka takes it third, and he's got several legs to make up. Yahib is fourth. And uh, these are the only four that can't. They've gone miles clear of the rest. We're headed by Buckskin's best. Racing now towards the 12th and final flight of the Rendlesham hurdle. And Ride Again has come through now to dispute it with Floyd. There's nothing between the two. Ride Again on the near side is finishing the stronger and has just taken it up from Floyd. Floyd, though, being rallied again in great style by Graham Bradley. And Floyd is going on. And Floyd comes through and sprints away again. A tremendous performance. He's made virtually all. Floyd and Graham Bradley win the Rendlesham hurdle from right again, the Iliwaka and Yahi. And after them, you've got to look an awful long way back to find Victory Gate coming in, followed by Buckskin's Best, and then Intuition, and uh, last of all is uh, Sunny Hill Lad. So the outcome of the sixth race here at Kempton Park, the Rendlesham Hurdle, it's a great win for Floyd, who made virtually all the running. He was headed just after the final flight, but uh, rallied again. And so it's first number one, Floyd, owned by Mr. M.V. Walsh and Mr. John Rumble, a 17th winner of the season for Whitsbury trainer David Ellsworth, and it was number 16 for jockey Graham Bradley. Second number two, ride again under Robert Strong, and third was number seven, that was the Illywacker with Mark Pittman, and fourth was number nine, Yahi, the Mount of Peter Scudamore. That's the story of the Rendlesham Hurdle. Floyd, 11 to 2. Second number 2, Ride again at 7 to 1. And third number 7, the Iliwaka at 3 to 1. Number 9, Yahib is the 15 to 8 favourite. The trade paid 5.30 of the win and £2 for the place. The other place is 2.30 and 1.40. The dual forecast came to £11.30 and 10 rand.